You know, if you watch Titanic backwards, it's about a magical boat that saves people. I gotta give credit to my friend JP for that one. Hello, I am Martin Saikon, and welcome to Saikon Says. I love it when people are friends with you at their convenience. I also love it when people don't respond to your text messages, ever. And I certainly love it when people talk bad about you, but then are completely nice and fake to your face. These are the issues that I deal with on a daily basis. Hit the like button if you deal with one or more of these things. Do you have to go to college to be a construction road worker? Um, I don't think so. Well, you might have to thank this guy. Utility workers had to use heavy machinery to grind up the wrongly placed H and C in the word school. Apparently, this mistake had been there since July of 2010. Really? Come on, bro. Come on. This guy must have been the real Billy Madison, only he didn't get a Fortune 500 hotel afterward. He got a construction job. Imagine hearing this. Hey honey, it's Valentine's Day and I have a whole special day planned. First, we will take a romantic walk around the city. Next, we will go to an expensive but amazing restaurant. And to top it all off, we will take a tour at a New York City sewage plant. Say what? That's right, New York City's sewage plant is offering tours for lovers on Valentine's Day. Well, this is, um... Well, uh, yeah. The host and superintendent of Newtown Creek's waste management plant says that it will be a unique and interesting experience. One that that special someone will never forget. That's for sure. Because nothing quite says I love you more than taking you to a shit plant. Now that's what I call a shitty relationship. <laughs> Not funny. No. Okay. Hey honey, didn't get your roses this year because I wanted to spice it up. Mm hmm Then what did you get me? We're going to a waste management plant. Hmm, I will tell you this, if my late husband took me to a waste management plant, he would be hitting the road, I'll tell you that right now, sonny. Don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up sometimes, Sarifa. <laughs> but like most of my stories, this one gets better. Guests will receive a Hershey's kiss at the end of the tour. Hmm, are you sure it's chocolate? Now that's what I call a shitty date. <laughs> it's still not funny. Uh, all right. Let me ask you something. What do you do with your grandmother when she dies and you don't have enough money to bury her? Why, you put her in a storage unit, of course. Everyone knows that, bro. When Ann Bunch died in 1995, her family had her body prepared at a funeral home for burial. Only problem is that they ran out of money for the burial. Bet those life insurance commercials are sounding pretty good about now. So, Bunch's daughter decided to place her body in a special container and put it in a storage unit in Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater, Florida, that's a great place to vacation, by the way. Wow, nothing says I love you more than storing your grandmother away with the old rugs and moldy oatmeal cookies that she made 17 years ago. Mmm. And to take your top off. Wait, that didn't come out right. Let me say that again. And to top it all off, robbers in the night have left several senior citizens stranded in their own community because they stole the batteries from their golf carts. Really? What? Because the economy is so tight and so hard, apparently the thieves were after valuable copper when they made off like bandits with 22 batteries, which cost up to $700. They struck on Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day when many of the seniors aren't in the community. Would it have really helped if the seniors were in the community anyway? I mean, what, what, what were they going to do? 
Hey! Hey! Stop that! Stop that man! Stop him! <laughs> As you know, this is detrimental to their community because many of the seniors can no longer get a driver's license and really depend on these golf carts to get around. You know, it's always the old people that get picked on. What? Hey, Grandpa, shut up and stay in your cage! All right, everyone, I don't know when I'm going to be back, but if you could follow me on Twitter and add me on Facebook, that would be great. I'm going to try to do a live show on Vlog TV every Sunday from 6.30 to 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Live life, love yourself, and stay true.